So we think reality is a mosaic-like code or language at the smallest scale of reality possible, which is called the Planck length. Particle accelerator data tells us that all particles and forces relate to one another according to a higher dimensional crystal called the E8 lattice. But reality appears to be 3D. So we project a slice of this E8 crystal down to 3D, which produces a quasi-crystal code or language. And that allows these geometric symbols to build up to the ordinary world of particles and forces that we see around us. Now, this geometric language has rules, but it also has syntactical freedom like any language. And that requires some notion of a chooser to choose the free steps in the language. Now, the notion of randomness doesn't work so well when it comes to codes because meaning starts to break down. Besides, there's no decent experimental evidence for randomness in nature in the first place. A universal collective consciousness is one answer, but that sounds new age and religious. Now, nowadays, a good number of physicists discuss the idea that our whole universe is actually a code-based simulation in some fantastically powerful quantum computer in another universe. Now, if true, then by the same logic, that other universe where the computer running the simulation of our universe is would also supposedly be a simulation in another universe. So the idea is a little shaky, but it's being discussed seriously by a lot of credible people. But it turns out that a universal collective-like consciousness of some sort may be physically inevitable.